Well, a traditional Kentucky beer cheese should be orange in color due to the type of cheese that you use. A little bit of heat to it from the spices. And should be a creamy texture. And you usually serve it as a dip with crackers or uh, vegetables or chips. A lot of beer cheeses served outside of Central Kentucky. They serve it as a hot dip. Traditional beer cheese is always served cold. A traditional beer cheese has four ingredients in it's whole pack cheddar, your spices, which is garlic and cayenne, and beer, so whatever type of beer you want. Originally, beer cheese was called snappy cheese. So, and that's because it had a little bit of a snap to it, a little bit of a bite to it. You cannot get drunk on beer cheese. You probably would be sick before you ingested enough beer cheese or beer to, to get drunk on it. The amount of alcohol that's in it is, is very minimum. My first impressions of beer cheese were, it has cheese. How can I not like it? I mean, I'm kind of a cheese addict. A lot of the dishes of Kentucky have links to specific immigrant groups in that region. For example, beer cheese, I think there are a lot of links to German, um, to German bar owners and German immigrants. In southern Germany, a lot of bar owners and beer halls will serve this dish called Obatsta. And that is made from cheese and a little bit of stale beer as a way of using up some of the beer and some spices. The spiciness, the saltiness makes people thirsty and therefore makes them drink more beer. And so a lot of the bars at the turn of the early 20th century would have been owned by German immigrants. A lot of the breweries were German immigrants. And so I think there's definitely that strong German influence in beer cheese and where it came from. I have to be really careful because I don't want to offend anyone. Johnny Ullman is always named as the originator, the inventor of beer cheese. Um, and I think it's a lot more complicated than that. The story is that he, his brother, I think it was, came back from Phoenix, Arizona, had been living out there, and talked about this cheese dip that he had. He missed the spiciness of the food. And so they made this beer cheese dip, their snappy cheese, with the cayenne pepper to really give it that bite and that that was the first beer cheese. I think, without insulting them, I think the origin was probably a little broader than that. I know Marion Flexner in her book, Out of Kentucky Kitchens, she mentions, you know, the days, the olden days of when you could go into a pub or a bar and you'd find your bowls of beer cheese on sale for five cents alongside your beer to make you drink more that that was a tradition that she didn't see as much anymore. Um, and she wrote that in 1949, which is kind of around the same time that Johnny Ullman came up with his recipe. And so I think it was less a case that he invented it, you know, this completely unknown dish, but I think they definitely were the kings of marketing. They took this product and produced it commercially, made, made it memorable, gave it the, you know, the snappy title, the snappy cheese. And so I think they definitely helped to put beer cheese back into people's minds that suddenly this had gone from just being this thing that you might have found in bars a while ago, but was kind of dying out. Now I think thanks to Johnny Ullman's, beer cheese became something that everyone could buy, everyone knew about in the area. And ultimately, now we have the Beer Cheese Festival. It kind of put Winchester on the map. In 2013, Governor Bashir um, declared Clark County, Winchester, the birthplace of beer cheese. The Beer Cheese Festival is located downtown Winchester on Main Street, and it's always held the second Saturday of June every year. Probably the biggest draw for the Beer Cheese Festival is the beer cheese vendors and sample all the different types of beer cheeses there. 
they get to vote for their favorite beer cheese and that determines the People's Choice winner. I'd like to see it spread a little more. I definitely know that since I've moved to Kentucky, the number of different brands of beer cheese seems to grow every year. If you go to the Beer Cheese Festival, their, their lane of professional beer cheese vendors seems to just grow and grow every year. I think it's the kind of thing that when people try, they like, and it, it is very versatile. So who knows, I'd like to think that in a few years time, more people will be eating beer cheese and enjoying it.